Thank you. Hey, everybody, let me get my snack. Let me get my snack. Let me put a song while I get my snack. Let me put a song while I get my snack. Okay. What song what song should I listen to? What song should I listen to, guys? I like my nails. Do you guys love my nails or what? Like, what's up? Wait, I'm looking for I'm looking for a Just wanna put her here. Yeah. I look good. Yeah. I look good. I look good. Oh matter of fact, Erica, can you give me can you give me the mango that you put? All right. How everybody doing? How you guys doing, guys? Yo, I feel so happy and I feel so good that I did my glam, that I did my nails because, yo, with a mask on and everything. Because let me tell you, baby, I was just like, I just was looking like my grandmother. Like, I just felt so nasty, so unattractive. I just couldn't deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just going crazy and my nails hurt so bad like you know when like your nails hurt so bad because they're so loose men will never understand but when your nails just lose dangly 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 that hurt so bad i i just couldn't like the pain was just out of this world hi pemigrove hi so um and then on top of god that guys i've been really sad you know what i'm saying i've been very very sad lately Yes, uh, I'm good. Okay. And like I've been very sad lately because it's like, ooh, ooh, this is messy. Can you give me a play, Erica? Please. I'm sorry. Um, can you give me a play, please? Pretty, 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 please, with the sprinkles on the top. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, right? Um, I've been really sad because so many people around me have been going through a lot of shit. Um, everything that I've been hearing people going through, it's just, it's hard to, to, to feel good when so many people around you is going through a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I got this one. you're like the greatest. Oh my gosh. I want to lick your ass. I'll see you, I'll see you later. So, yeah, like, so a lot of people have been going through a, a lot of things around me. You know what I'm saying? Some people are using their savings just so they can live. Um, savings that they, they, they have plans for. Now they got to use it, like, to pay bills, to just get food. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of pregnant women are being, um, have to give birth. So their kids without their baby father, with no family, just them right there. And people that are in the hospital, whether it's for coronavirus or other um or other sickness, other diseases, like they are being they they have to die alone because they cannot have visitors. You know what I'm saying? Like one thing that it, it bothers me because I have somebody, right, that has a family member that have corona in the hospital. One thing that bothers me is, right? Like, all right. All right, when you when a lot of people when they go in with coronavirus, you know they cannot they cannot they cannot breathe well, but they're not like in a dying stage. So it's like they cannot even have people bring them things to nurture them, like ginger tea or certain food that boosts your immune system. So it's like their family members they cannot even help them, and all of a sudden they're in a ventilator and boom, boom, boom. But I have a little special guest right here. I'm gonna get, bring somebody in my live right quick. And let's talk about a little something, something. I'm looking for the person. I'm looking for a person. Uh, I'm looking for somebody. Hold on now. I'm trying to find them. Now, you know I'm a little slow with technology. Technology is not my thing. But I find them. Here, here we are. What's wrong? I hate this phone. I need a new phone. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Oh, crap, okay. I'm looking for somebody, okay? Hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking for him. 
I'm looking for you now. Hold on now. Y'all know I'm a little, y'all know my phone is a little, uh, crazy. Cause you know what I'm saying? I was playing around the pool with Offset and whatnot. And this man, oh, no, 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 not this person. I found him. I found him. I found him. Hold on. I'm waiting. <laughs> Uncle Bernie! <laughs> People, we got Uncle Bernie in my life. Uncle Bernie, how you doing? I'm good, Cody. I want you to take a look at my nails. How are they looking? They're looking very quarantine. <laughs> I, I could tell you've been on quarantine for a while now with your nails, but you know what? It's okay, Uncle Bernie. Okay. So, so how Uncle you been? Bernie. I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if anybody told you, but the last time I got on live, I had a fit because I was so hurt and upset that you dropped out of the the race and everything. And I was upset because, you know, um, I be looking on Twitter and I be looking on my Instagram and I know that there's so much people like the youth supports you so much. I know they support you so much. So um, when I see that you, you know, dropped out of the race and everything, I kind of know why, because it's so expensive. It's very expensive to run a campaign. And when things are not going, you know, the, the way that you want it to go, it's just like, hey, let me just drop it right now before we spend money on other things. And I was really upset because I keep telling the youth and I keep telling my people and my supporters, like, it's like you guys really have to go and vote. And now we are, are, you know, now we're stuck between 45. We won't, we won't name them over here. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to name them over here. So now we have uh, 45 and Joe Biden. And, you know, me, since I've been so on you and so focused on you, I haven't really done my research well on Joe Biden. I kind of do, but not as much. And, um. And, you know, I'm just going to go with Joe Biden because I cannot see the next the next step of America being ran by number 45. Like, I think, and I and I don't know, you tell me, I think we are going to enter, like, a recession. I, I really think that, you know what I'm saying? So many people are unemployed right now. And I feel like those people that are unemployed, not everybody's going to get their job back when America opens back up. First of all, Bernie, let me tell you, when do you think America is going to open back up? When do, you, when do you think that that's going to happen? Because there has been talks about um, America opening back up, number 45, and, and some governors, they keep going back and forth. But the thing is that people are still dying and catching coronavirus. And as much as I want to go outside, because I want to be outside for the summertime, you know, I want to be outside, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I just don't feel like it's safe. To go outside. So when do you think? Do, do you got some friends in there that kind of know a little shun, shun, shun? Do you want to share to the world, world, world? Uh, nobody knows exactly. And it will probably be uh, at different times in different places in the country. And it will not be all at once. Nobody is going to turn on a switch and America returns to where it was. Right. Uh, one of the things that we're looking at, Cardi, is the kind of testing uh, which will enable people to know, first of all, whether they have the virus or not. And if they have the virus, clearly they should not be going out and spreading the virus. Second of all, if they have antibodies, which will make them immune, perhaps, to somebody else giving them the virus. So we got a lot of work to do on that. Yeah. You said a moment ago, what has to be said over and over again, a lot of people are hurting tonight. You know, a lot of people have lost their jobs. They're worried about how they're going to food, get food for their family, mm. how they're going to pay their rent, pay their mortgages. And in Congress, some of us are trying to deal with those issues as well. Yeah. And, and like, the, the jumps of deaths is crazy right now. Like, right now, America really have the most death on coronavirus patients, victims. Like, I think it's now... Uh, twenty five thousand and more than that, thirty thousand now. Huh? Yeah, we 30, we, we we surpassed Italy. 
Yeah. Which is so crazy to me. And what I'm seeing, uh, ways that they are preventing, I don't think that this will happen in America because America, us, I love my privacy, but in Wuhan, ways that they are preventing people from spreading the virus is like they're controlling um, where are people going. Like every single time that people go out, get out of their apartments, they have to like, I don't know, uh, do a certain type of scanning. Every time they pay for something, they, they do a certain type of scanning. So when somebody goes to the hospital with the coronavirus, they can detect where you got the virus and they can advise you that you've been around a person that has the coronavirus. And that's what they're doing in Wuhan um, to prevent the virus. But I don't think that that as much as I would like the coronavirus to start spreading, it's just I don't know. That's just too much information on the people. And mm. well, the balance here, and it's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, we have to stop the spread of the disease. Yes. And you know, if somebody is in a room with a whole lot of other people, a whole lot of people can get sick and some of them can die. And that we have to stop. Mm. On the other hand, you have a legitimate concern. Uh, we don't want to be having all kinds of information and you know, on everybody in America. That's a violation of civil liberties. So how you get that balance is what we're kind of working on. But yeah. the main thing right now is to stop the spread of the disease. The other thing is to make sure that if somebody is in the hospital, they get the care that they need, yeah. that the doctors and the nurses have the protective equipment that they need. You know, we're, we're losing doctors and nurses who are becoming sick, sometimes dying because they don't have the kind of masks and other equipment they need to protect themselves. Right. And you know, and it, and it really makes me sad because there are like some patients, like I, I know somebody that have somebody in the hospital right now with coronavirus and it's, in, it's, it's like they are in a very bad state. And it makes me sad that they cannot have their family around them to nurture them, to hold their hands and say like, right. everything is going to be all right. Like not everybody trusts doctors, not everybody trusts hospitals. Like you always want like somebody looking over. And it's really sad that people, some people like their last moments, they cannot even spend it with their families, which is something that is really sad. It's really heartbreaking. Hi husband, oh, that's my husband. He's so burning my husband. Hmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> and that's the type of things that, you know, it makes me sad. But right now, even though we are going through this coronavirus crisis, you know, people are still running. And I heard that you are endorsing now Joe Biden. And, you know, we're really now in the matrix. It's either Joe Biden or Trump. And one thing is, you know, a lot of people like like the youth, they don't really, they don't really rock with Joe Biden because he's conservative. But the thing is that, like, you know, I think Obama, right? I think Obama did like a smart move when he picked Joe Biden as his vice as his vice president because that's how he got the conservative vote. And just because there's so many people that are liberal like me and are a little bit more open with things, a lot of these states are not. So I think that that's why, you know, Obama had Biden as vice president and now he's endorsing him and we're very excited to um to see that i'm very excited and i'm excited too that you are endorsing joe biden and i will want you to tell my platform why are you endorsing him like why Good. should we vote for him well, and a how can we reasons, spread Carl. for us to vote for joe biden okay first point is that when i announced that i was running for president and there were like 18 people running you know what i said is if i don't win and i tried hard to win uh i will endorse the Democrat who wins because Donald Trump is, to my mind, the most dangerous president in the modern history of America. Uh, this is a guy who lies all the time. He doesn't believe in science. He downplayed this whole coronavirus, which has led to the deaths of many thousands of people unnecessarily. He doesn't believe in the Constitution. He thinks he's above the law. So this is a bad news guy that has got to be uh, defeated. And I will do everything that I can to defeat him. Uh, what I am also trying to do right now, Cardi, is to work with Joe to see that he becomes a more progressive candidate. Right? Mm -hmm. In other words, 
uh, what I want to see him stand for, which he will, is to raise the minimum wage to at least 15 bucks an hour, to make sure that all of our young people have the opportunity to go to college regardless of their income, all right? To cancel student debt for a lot of people. I would go further in all of these areas than he goes, but he is moving in the right direction. He's moving in the right direction on immigration reform. I think you will be pleased to hear what he has to say. I know the criminal justice and the number of people who are in jail today, often African-American or Latino, disproportionately is an issue of concern to you. I think you'll be hearing him making some pretty strong statements about the need for criminal justice reform to make sure that we're not throwing young people into jail, but getting them the education and the jobs that they need. Yeah. And, you know, even like right now, people that are in jail, they are not being protected as, as good as they should with this coronavirus. And one thing that baffles my mental, right, about number 45 is that, you know, when this coronavirus news was hitting and everything, he just kept blaming that this was a move of the Democrats to make him look bad, that everything, that everything, uh, that the Democrats do is bad propaganda right. to make him look bad. But the thing is that, honey, you don't need the Democrats to make to make you look bad. You make your own self look bad. There were so many um chances that he had when into when interviewers at interviewers ask him questions that he could have answered with the right answer that would make people be like, okay, he actually cares. And instead of him giving a right answer. He just shuts them off or just degrades them. And it's like, you don't need no Democrats to make you look bad. Sir, you make your own self look bad. You well, Cardi, he's about doing your that. views on Twitter. When, and and then you right responsibility. Now. We are in this point because of him. He could have been avoided this in January. You know, a lot of people, I, I have a lot of love for the Chinese people, but a lot of people, when um, coronavirus was becoming trendy in america it was like around early january and a lot of people felt like it would have been racist or prejudiced to close the borders from china to america and i just feel like how come it wasn't prejudiced when we clo when america closed the borders in west africa when the ebola virus was around and the ebola virus never even got here so that's my thing i feel like um they put capitalism, money, trading, goods before our health. And that's my problem. That's my yeah. issue. And instead of apologizing and giving us better, 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 I don't know, better things than a, a, a $1,600 stimulus check at one time, I feel like we deserve better because they messed up, apologize for messing up and do better for us, for the people. Not just well, that's one of the, the things about this guy is he doesn't apologize and he lies all of the time and he blames other people. Yes. So right now, because he downplayed the disease, he did not listen to the scientists. He did not use the Defense Production Act to tell private companies that instead of producing underwear right now or socks, they got to produce masks and we got to start producing ventilators and all that stuff. He didn't do any of that. So he blames other people. Right now he's blaming the World Health Organization which is an enormously important international organization that is trying to bring scientists and doctors together to work on a vaccine, to figure out the best way forward to treat this disease. He's now threatening to cut funding for them. Just the other day, you may have read that he threatened Dr. Uh, Valci, uh, who has been telling the American people the truth. Trump does not like the truth. So he wants to fire this guy as well. So, you know, what we're trying to do now in Congress is go around Trump, make sure that our doctors and nurses have the equipment that they need, that we produce the kind of testing kits that we need so anybody in America can get the kind of tests they need when they need it. We're trying to make sure that every hospital in America has the ventilators and the other equipment uh, that they need. Uh, and we have to move very aggressively in all of those areas. Right. Woo! I'm so excited. I'm excited and I'm nervous. And I don't know, I'm so emotional because this makes me really excited. And I hope that all the viewers, 
have a better understanding of what's going on. And I just really want to let my viewers know that it's and want to keep getting lied to because we are in for a ride. After everything goes back to normal again, I want to let people know that things are not going to be back normal again. Like this has impact the economy and the back to normal again. There's countries that are affected by the coronavirus. They are not, you know, as wealthy as this country. Like the Dominican Republic, where my father's from, we got family members all constantly calling. It's it's terrible. All right, Cardi, let me just tell you one of the things that we're trying to do. I'm sorry, that's okay, my one, mama calling. Trying to make sure. <laughs> that's my mom calling. Okay, say hello to your mom for me. <laughs> all right, we're trying to make sure uh, that everybody has all of the health care that they need right now. All right, so people are ending up in the hospital. They can't even afford the treatment they're getting. If their families get sick, you know, they don't have any money. We're trying to make sure that everybody has health care by expanding, having Medicare cover all health care bills. Second thing, very importantly, other countries around the world, in Europe and elsewhere, have done it. We want to make sure that people continue to receive their paycheck. In other words, right. you get laid off from your job. We want to make sure you continue to get your paycheck. In the airlines industry, we managed to protect 2 million workers, flight attendants, pilots, people in the airline industry. They will, for the next six months, whether they're working or not, continue to get their paychecks. We want to do that for every worker in America. That makes sense to you? Yes. That makes sense, but we just got to see if number 45 is willing to do that. <laughs> Well, we're going to make him an offer he can't refuse. We're going to put a lot of pressure, and I hope your viewers work with me and others in Congress in demanding that Congress stand up for workers, because a lot of people are hurting today. They're worried about getting evicted from their apartments. They're worried about not having enough food. They're worried about going bankrupt because they can't pay their debts. And Congress has got to be bold and stand up for those workers. Right. Well, we're going to stand up for those workers, and you're going to always have my support. And, um, well, you heard it from man's mouth, Joe Biden, for 2020. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Carter. You keep up the great work. Thank Talk you. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, guys, you heard it from the source's mouth. You see what's going on out here. Better make the right choice. Mm -hmm. It's a little sour. It's a little sour. Take this off. I want to be covered for Uncle Bernie. I wanna... How baby girl used to say, it, Uncle Bernie? Heard from the source's mouth. And now, because it makes me sad, like, I know a lot of people, I don't, I, I know a lot of people, they really can't relate, but I literally know somebody that, that has a family member in the hospital and, um, all right. So, so like I was saying, right, I know somebody that has a, a family member at the hospital and it's just like, you know, like, can you imagine being in the hospital? about to get on a ventilator and you're scared like you're scared because a lot of people don't really trust the hospitals like that like you you're always so paranoid and it's like in the hospitals like yeah they're giving you medicine but imagine taking so much medications it, it, it gets you kind of dizzy it makes you kind of sick like me when i take like six excedrins and yes because i be having really bad migraines like i just feel a little dizzy i feel my body getting weak so what do i do i drink a smoothie so i could get boost up how are you sick in a bed and your family they cannot even give bring you no green no um no green juices you know they just boost you up all their berries black seed oil to just 
reboots your immune like you cannot even have a, a a soup you know you know like your mom always like nurturing you when you're sick you're not gonna have a family member to be able to nurture you like a lot of people they are dying for the coronavirus they're dying and they and they cannot even see their family members like imagine imagine you having to see a parent or aunt or an uncle or brother or husband or wife and you cannot see their their, their last time leaving and being on earth shit is fucked up a lot of women, they are pregnant. They're not even able to see. They're not even. They're not even able to experience giving birth with with their with they with their husbands or their parents or their friends or their close ones. They gotta give birth by themselves. Like giving birth, I needed a team. Let me tell you, who was there when I was giving birth? My husband, my mama, my daddy. But he stepped out the room. He was like, I ain't trying. To, I ain't trying to see this shit. I'm out. Tell me when she out. Um, my sister, patience. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, he stepped out the room too. He was like, I ain't trying to see this. Let me know when she out. You know what I'm saying? It's sad. And, 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 and you know, a lot of people, you know, a lot of young people like, oh, Cardi, how can you relate? You're a celebrity. You got this money. You got this, this, and that. That's okay. I don't have a lot of celebrity friends. All my friends are regular people with regular jobs. You know, I'm not going to say which family member, but I have, uh, yeah, I remember when I said I have so many friends that and family members that are having babies. A lot of my family members, so many things that, that they saved up for, they work hard for, and now it's like, damn, they got to fucking spend that money to survive. They don't know how they're going to pay their rent next. All these savings is now for survival. Shit is hard. And I, and I can't understand that because it's like sometimes when I want to call my friends, how can I call my friends with some problems of how I'm feeling when they're going through some hard fuck shit right now? And, and you know me, I used to I always put myself on the old party of what type of shit I will be going through. Like right now, a lot of people are criticizing women for showing their coochie, coochie, coochies and their titty, titty, titties on live. But a lot of these strippers, they were independent workers. They're on. They're not gonna be able to get to be in a in in a line for um for unemployment. So they're fucked. They got kids too. And and you know what? I always thinking about the females. But I I saw DJ Envy right. He's giving a giveaway to uh to DJs because DJs are also independent workers and they got kids. And it's like how they gonna be able to survive and promoters. Shit, shit getting real. So um, I'm going to see if Brooklyn, Johnny, so the other day uh, in Easter, I was going to get on live, but I was just so, I was just so down on Easter that I just didn't really want to get on live. So I did say um, that I was going to give a giveaway. I mean, I'm giving, me and Fashion Nova are giving $1,000 um, every hour. It hasn't stopped at all. But uh, I I wanted to pick some fans from that. Oh, I got. Hold on, hold on. I got some some mango in my teeth. Shit bothering me is tickling my lip. Um. Anyways, I, I I asked the question like, let me know what's going on, and we picked some people. So I didn't call Brooklyn Johnny before. Um, I got on live. So let's see if he's he's watching, and then I'm gonna call somebody else too. Oh, it's not letting me go on live with more people. I don't know why my phone does this. View. Damn, it's... Damn, I'm gonna have to... Fuck, what the hell did I do? Yo, I don't understand. Tory Lanez get on live with a million people. Why can't I get on live? Well, um... I might have to log out again. Maybe we could go... We, I could call Brooklyn Johnny so we could give out that giveaway. And then on top of that... I don't know if y'all know this, but uh, I was about, I was gonna get on live. Well, when I sign off, I'm gonna get on live with Jason Lee because Jason Lee have somebody that um is a fan of of his of Hollywood Unlock and everything. I'm I'm really cool with Jason Lee, and uh, he was telling me how he is um. Also giving a thousand for the next fifteen days is gonna be giving out a thousand dollars. So uh. You can send a story to him. I'm going to log off. No, I'm, I'm going to log off and I'm going to log back in. Oh, oh, it's come back. It's back. We're back. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, it's trying. Oh, my God. 
what is going okay it's it comes up and then it goes down okay no okay okay well, i don't understand shit oh shit I don't know why I keep doing that. I'm going to log off and I'm going to log in, back in, okay? And I'm going to get these people on, on my line.